Hello, my name is uh, Christian, and it's a privilege to be going through Luke 5, verses 12 to 28 with you this morning. Uh, these passages, they focus on uh, kind of two healings uh, that Jesus does. One is the cleansing of a leper, and the other one is a healing of a, of a paralytic. Uh, that, that second one being a very, very famous healing in the Bible, so I'm sure, I'm sure we all know it. Uh, but I just want to focus on one main theme. Uh, this morning it's basically looking at the fact that these miracles these physical healings are a sign of what God can do at a deeper level so if you see these physical healings uh, it's just an outward confirmation of, of the healing of the spirit what God is doing deeper inside of you uh, and with our relationship with him so we can look at uh, verse 20 um, where we see Jesus says uh, and when he saw their faith, he said, man, your sins are forgiven. So if you imagine the picture, there's this guy being lowered through the roof on a bed. Um, clearly, there's something wrong with him. You know, whether you know he's paralyzed or not, you know that there's something physically wrong with him. And he's being lowered through the roof. But the first thing that Jesus says is that your sins are forgiven seems like almost a bizarre thing to do isn't it you can see that this guy needs physical healing but your sins are forgiven and so Jesus that is the most important thing the kind of the deeper level stuff is is more important and then the physical healing comes next and almost serves as a confirmation of what had been done at a deeper level and it's hard to see uh, what, what God is doing at a deeper level we see that the Pharisees were unable to see the forgiveness of sins uh, the deeper level stuff but they can't deny the physical healing we see in verse 24 but that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins he said to the man who was paralyzed i say to you rise pick up your bed and go home so that the pharisees were able to see it the physical healing comes next and serves as that confirmation of what had been what had been happening in the heart. And it is harder to see that. A good illustration, uh, if you think about it, is, a, is an iceberg. Um, you know, if you're in a boat and you're sailing towards one, what you see above water is only a tiny portion of what is actually underneath. Uh, and that's, a, that's the same with, with God. You know, we can, we can see these physical healings uh, and actually what, what that shows us is it's just a part of what God is doing in your life and actually underneath God wants to work at a, a deeper level and that's certainly what he what he did with these two stories we see the leper he says in, in uh, to Jesus in verse 12 Lord if you will you can make me clean but what we're talking about there is not just a leprosy of the body it's a leprosy of the spirit and same with the, the paralytic man. You know, he was he was doubly paralyzed, and Jesus knew that. There was the the physical body that was paralyzed, but you could see that there was the fear that Jesus, you know, wouldn't forgive him. So the first thing that Jesus wanted to reassure reassure him of is your your sins are forgiven. And actually, there's a there's a deeper work there that Jesus wants to do in our lives. There is the physical healing. And uh, for some of us, we will know that. Uh, and some of us, we will live with ailments throughout the rest of our lives, unfortunately. But, um, but actually, God wants to do something at a deeper level. So one, one practical thing I just want to mention today is that um, Jesus does want to, want to bring this, this healing into our lives, you know, in, in body as well as in spirit. Um, but we can see with the paralytic here, there was a barrier there was a barrier in the way. They had to remove tiles. They had to put a hole in the roof and lower him down. There was a barrier to coming to Jesus. There was a barrier to come to Jesus to receive that healing. I just want to ask you today, what is your barrier? You know, it won't be a physical barrier, but it might be uh, an intellectual, it might be a, a mind barrier that is, that is stopping you from receiving that healing today. A couple of examples I just thought of the top of my head um, is maybe you've experienced disappointment recently and you're finding it hard to trust God at the moment maybe that's one one barrier that's stopping you from from coming to God 
Or maybe it's because you think God just doesn't have the time. Uh, maybe you know your your parents or your your guardians or your friends that they, they just don't they haven't had the time for you. So you kind of project that on God that He doesn't have time for you. But God wants to wants to bring healing into your life, and He wants to bring it at a deeper level uh, in your in your heart and and with His relationship with you. Uh, you know, as well as the, the physical side, but at the deeper level, more, more importantly. But what is that barrier that's, that's stopping you today? So just think about that. Uh, and I just ask you just to bring that to God, just to, just to, pray, the, to pray to God that he would remove that barrier. Um, so I'm just going to pray um, before, we, uh, before we close. Lord God, I do thank you for these, um, these stories uh, and these stories of, of hope. Um, knowing that, that God you do bring physical healing uh, but knowing that you're, you're also more interested in our heart uh, at changing us on the inside and healing us on the inside and uh, God I pray that we would know that God I pray that where there are things hindering us from achieving that maybe yeah, is a disappointment or maybe is the, the trust or something else God I, I pray help us to lean on you again uh, help us not to not to lean on other things to, to try and find hope and healing, but come back to you again and know that healing at a deeper level. God, I pray for that in your name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me this morning and see you again soon.